to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Take two, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Few True Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. I am Brian, Brian Man Peacock. Riley's not going to introduce herself. <laughs> she's just going to stare at us. No, she's just sitting there eating her pizza. We are watching the Tender Loving Care pod- podcast. <laughs> we are watching the Tender Loving Care pay per view. That is what TLC stands for. I right? guarantee you there is a Tender Loving Care podcast. There is. There's got to be. Definitely. I was about to say I was going to look it up, but there's not. I found <laughs> out there is this pretty interesting podcast, but I don't even know if I want to talk about it right now. All right. <laughs> but. All right. So I was, I've been listening to this other... Fine, I'll talk about it. Because it's not wrestling related, though. But I'll still make it quick. Even Riley's face palming. Oh, Riley's here. Well, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's good. Oh, boy. Ladders, chairs. There is literally one tables, ladders, chairs match. So it's barely yeah. that. Um, and it's also weird because it's five versus three. Yeah. But we're getting Kurt Angle back. Which you don't care about. I don't care. I don't, it's not, it's not that I hate him, it's not that I like him, it's just, it's okay, it's alright, it's Kurt Angle, alright. He's a legend, he's incredible. I mean, even back in the day, it was just like, oh. No? <laughs> okay. See, I don't know who Kurt Angle is. Let's get to the first match. <laughs> alright guys, we just watched Asuka versus Emma. Who won, Riley? You just said who? Asuka. That and is that who won? Yup, she won by by tap out. Can you say tap out? Tap out. There you go. So I I thought it was a pretty solid match. See, and that that's proof Emma's really look and go. There was a couple of things I was like, eh, come on guys, but no, it was good. Yeah, good solid match. Good debut for entrance for her. Yeah, but it was still pretty good. I mean. It was, yeah, no, it was fine. I guess I just, I expected something that they never said they were going to do anyway. So, so was, was this her debut? Because I've yes, okay. They've been building it up for a while. What you doing, Riley? Okay. <laughs> that's a po- that's a microphone. Don't a goofball. Touch the equipment. Why did a microphone? Because we're recording ourselves right now, so people can listen to us later on. They oh. hear you. <laughs> people can hear you. Say hi, people. <laughs> So we're gonna talk Hi, about people. we're gonna talk about our people. <laughs> we're gonna talk about our reactions to the TLC podcast, the rest of the matches. We're going to talk about Neville leaving WWE, probably. Yeah. yeah. It's not official I as of this have recording. To say. What what do you have to say, Riley? Uh today I had a fairy card and and and, and I had a dress, and it was beautiful. That is, that is awesome, Kenno. <laughs> but this we're talking about wrestling on That's this another show. podcast. That's the Future Villains podcast. Yeah, we can talk about that later. So this show, we're going to talk about Neville probably leaving, Jimmy Jacobs definitely leaving, uh, any other news we want to talk about. And that will be at the end of the show. First, we're going to talk about the TLC podcast. <laughs> Good Lord, podcast. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Just nope. keep listening and you'll, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. All right, so we just watched the Cruiserweight with Rick and the gentleman Jack Gallagher versus Cedric Alexander and Rich Swan. Yep. Very athletic. Yep. It was a good match. Yeah, it was pretty good. There's no reason to care about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, unfortunately... They, they, I feel like they're trying to do some kind of weird storyline. Yeah. Like, a, like, as bare bone of a storyline as you can. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. A match. It's no, a, but it's good to have a reason. I, I think I've said it before. I, I don't mind if there's matches without reasons. It's wrestling. It's, a, it's supposed to be a sport. Right. It shouldn't be, oh, you... But even in sports, the reason is so that you could become champion. Like, you are progressing towards something. They're not progressing towards anything. And even, you know, that's the whole point of having a feud. And it feels like the only reason they're having a feud is because 
one guy doesn't like the other guy, which is like, I don't know. It just feels so shoehorned. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. But also, we didn't see it. We really, all we saw was the, because uh, I don't watch the weekly shows. So I just saw their build up on here. And Usually yeah, they I, do a good job, though, with the weekly, or the, the build up on here. I guess there was no, uh... Yeah, there was, there was no reason, there's no rhyme, there's no... This feels like a waste of talent, pretty much. To me. Yeah, but at least, uh, at least we got an entertaining match on our pay-per-view. Yeah. Speaking of entertaining matches, we also watched uh, Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James. Yeah. Yeah. She, she is so good. I like how physical the match was. Very physical. Yeah. They beat the hell out of each other. Yeah, it was good. And I literally looked away for two seconds. How did the match end? I believe it was at Spike DDT. Okay. Does. Which I think, I wish you put a little more flair on it. Because it's almost too sudden of a move. Said, I know I finisher can be hit from anywhere. Absolutely. Yeah. But there's also the version of the move that has a lot of flair. You know, kind of like Randy with you know, the whole... Does the whole pounding on the ground and spinning around and does the big jump and that's cool. Yeah. But it's also yeah. cool when he gets it out of nowhere. Right. It's cool off. It's also cool when quickly does stunner. Right. There's. I feel like there should be two versions. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Hers is just what, too sudden. I don't know what else she would do. Oh, I don't even like just kick out her legs and swing or I'm not sure. I think Bobby Roode's got the best DDT in the business with that Impaler DDT. Yeah. Dirty Deeds is even... That's pretty much a spike DDT. Yeah, yeah. kind of. DDT's just not a great finisher. No. I, I don't know if we brought it up on the show before, but have we ever figured out what DDT stands for? Damien Death Drop. Okay. Wait, Damien Death... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It has to do with Damien, it's, because it's a it's um. Jake Roberts thing. Oh, okay. this finisher, he came up with it. Alexa Bliss won, of course. Yeah, yeah. As she should. Still don't know who the hell's gonna dethrone her. Oh, Oscar. Yeah, I was gonna say I think we already saw her. Yeah. Uh, that needs that needs to be a long feud though. Oh yeah. That. Asuka needs to lose a lot. I feel like. What? Yeah, I think starting next pay per view, that feud needs to start, and Asuka should not win till Mania. You don't think Asuka should just keep being undefeated from NXT? What if what if most of the matches are by DQ? Or something happens, Alexa pulls some bullshit. That'd be pretty great. I don't know. And why are we seeing? <laughs> I was just gonna say of what. No, this is not a replay. Earlier, Elias Sampson oh, yes, came no, out, no. was doing his thing. Jason Jordan was throwing veggies at him, and now he's doing it again. He's like, "I'm the God Charlie Green Giant." Fuck. I don't. I don't understand. This is. This I'm is. This is mad. why we record during the pay per view because of this garbage. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. We'll see you at the next match. I just felt a million wrestling fans just jizzing their pants. <laughs> there was a disturbance in the force, so that's for sure. <laughs> I gotta mention, we are recording these. We're recording two matches at a time rather than record after every match. Yeah. Um, I will explain what I just said in a second. We watched two very good matches. The Cruiserweight Championship match between Enzo Amore and Kalisto. Right. Um, and now we just watched Finn Balor versus AJ Styles. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, Enzo Amore, still the fucking perfect heel. Yeah. Second best heel in the company behind The Miz. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yes. I'm going to stand by The Miz as the best heel in the company. Other than Roman Reigns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
The so, accidental heel. The accidental heel, yes. But yeah, uh, I feel like Enzo Amore and Kalisto, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The Cruiserweight division could be great with a reason, with a storyline, with a good feud. Right. Because that match felt like those two hated each other. Mm-hmm. Enzo Amore believes every bit of bullshit he spouts. Right. And I love that. And he can't beat Kalisto. I'm convinced of that because the way he won was he, you know, he thumbed him in the eye and hit the Dunzo, is what they're calling the he defeat now. Yeah, <laughs> Which I kind of like. I guess. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Um, and Enzo Amore is two time cruiserweight champion. So this whole Enzo versus the cruiserweight division back on, I love that. This is a whole division. That's pretty great. Yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at there for sure. It's very interesting. And then we had, oh man, AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. Why wasn't this the main event? Oh, it was for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Elias is back. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm turning my back to the screen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Elias is back on the screen. Um, AJ Styles and Finn Balor just had one of the best matches of the year. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, especially that we've seen on WWE. Yeah. Hands out match of the year. Someone in the back, Vince, Triple H, whoever the hell is in charge, I hope they just watched that match and said, oh, we should do that at Mania. No, fuck that. They need to sit there and say, oh, we need to do this in every All the time? Show. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason they can't do that. Why can't we get matches like that every single time? Uh, we they've, could, but not that special. They've got the money to pay the talent to give oh, us that. Oh, I understand. Okay, I thought you were talking about with the current roster. <laughs> okay. No, why can't See, we... this is why I was really confused and I was kind of wanting to call you on bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've got the money to pay the right people to give sure. us show, uh, the shows that we want to watch. Sure. Like, like we have it muted. No one gives a fuck about... Jason Jordan and... Elias Sampson. Yeah, I don't even know their fucking names. Like, I don't even care. Yeah. Like, he but threw fruit at them. That's the thing, though. We could care, but he was throwing veggies at him. Like, why do I care? Yeah. Quite frankly, I want Elias Sampson to win. Oh, are they actually doing a match? Is Looks like it. On? But we'll talk about this in a second. Um, Maybe we will. <laughs> Was that the stiffest coup de gras fucking ever? Yeah. AJ <laughs> took 200% of it. Ugh. No. <laughs> Hashtag wrestling is fake. Right. <laughs> God. Yeah, it didn't look when they, And when they did the replay, I went, wrestling is fake. <laughs> As he just, ooh. Like, Finn doesn't weigh a lot. But... Jesus Christ, how do you take that? I don't I still don't understand how the coup de gras works. Like it just doesn't. It just it just hurts. It, it, yeah. I mean most of the time he kinda like hits and rolls. Yeah. That time he kinda hit. Yeah. Chilled out for a second. How you doing, AJ? Alright, bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Damn. And there's no reason we can't get matches like that all the time. Like uh, the reason is they been... want to build their own stars. Yeah, but that shouldn't have been that special. I mean, those two guys are great, obviously. Right. But that should be the standard. Like, sure. It shouldn't be... Especially considering who they are. Right. As WWE. Yeah. With the money they have to pay the right people. It's just frustrating. Are you, are you referring to the... That I believe be the right people. I, where were, where was the club at the end of that? that Why see, the fuck yeah. weren't they out there? What show are they on? I don't even know. What show are we watching now? Uh, Raw. The Raw. They're on this show. Okay, that's what I, I saw, thought. I saw a picture of them sitting beside Elias Sampson, and the caption was, um, "When you hate your job, but the paycheck's good." And you got three kids at home and a hot-ass Asian wife. 
<laughs> you do what you have to do or something like that. Those poor guys. They yeah. They need to be used better. But at the end of the, the AJ Finn match, we did get them doing the two sweet. Yeah. And that was every wrestling fan. Good God. <laughs> it was it was pretty cool. That God, please let that be that they're laying the groundwork for something. Something at Mania. I Yeah, I guess if they were gonna do anything with the Bullet Club that they mentioned frequently during that match. Yeah, they did and did not. Right. They mentioned that they were they started a faction that it was a club. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Finn hit, Club. <laughs> yeah. And then Finn hit Bloody Sunday and Corey said that it was gonna Same be a with, stay. Yeah. I love Corey Graves. During the cruiserweight match he said that uh Kalisto was the was had the soul of a samurai. Yeah. And in the Indies he was Samurai Del Sol. So yeah, but I guess we'll talk about this while it's happening. It's Elias Sampson versus Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan is the good guy. He's wearing green. I gotta assume he's a good guy. And but Elias, like I get the whole he comes out. And he's supposed to be sucky at singing, and he's annoying, but at the same time, it's like, why are you throwing veggies at him? What yeah. are you, five? And like, he's even, <laughs> and he takes a bite of the banana, and I think he threw the peel, and like, fuck off. Yeah, and I think we've talked about um, ending the PG era. That's and- not going to happen. And I think uh, I think we had a point, like, what would we really get out of it and what would really change? I think that shit would go away. Yeah? Yeah, like, I think I think it would go do away with the childish shit. Do kids enjoy shit. that? Do we need to get Riley out here and, like, like she show probably it to her? thought that was funny. Yeah. Well, he, threw, he threw an apple at him or something. Because, like, look, quite frankly, this isn't a bad match. I mean, not really, no. Dudes are super capable. Elias Sampson's a good wrestler. Jason Jordan's a great wrestler. But when they both go out there and they act like goddamn Looney Tune characters... Yeah. No one gives a f- So, I guess this is probably all we're going to say about it. Yeah. Uh, Jordan's going to win. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> and if he doesn't, it's going to be by some bullshit. And Yeah. Okay, we'll get to the next match. Yeah. All right, we just watched the TLC, Braun Strowman, Kane, The Bar, Sheamus, and Cesaro, and The Miz versus Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Kurt Angle. I'm glad you can remember everyone. I was really trying. (laughs) Uh, Would you care to explain to me how it is that we watched AJ Styles and Finn Balor do wrestling moves... Right. Basically, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. That match was more entertaining than the oh, fuck, like thirty minutes we just watched. Yeah. How they had garbage trucks and tables and ladders and chairs and, and announcer tables and announcer tables and the stage and, and pulling down the chairs and it like. I'm racking my brain here. And tables that didn't break. Unbreakable tables. (laughs) Two. Two unbreakable tables. Poor Dean Ambrose. Dean is not good at breaking the tables. Or, well, how does that... No, I think that's more the other way around. (laughs) They're not good at placing him on the table correctly. Either way. Yeah. And then... Yeah, and then the the first time that happened, they put him in the corner and Braun just chucked him into it. It still looked like he didn't even want to break, which I thought was pretty, pretty funny. I do. How bad... How badly are you going to be reamed out and fired if you were the guy who didn't put gimmick tables under the ring? <laughs> you put real tables. Yeah. Because there have to be real tables there. Yeah. And then there's the other tables. Mm-hmm. Like, I and I gotta imagine, they gotta keep them separate. <laughs> but somebody fucked up tonight. <laughs> Good God. Uh, th- This match was just a bunch of... See, this is... 
there, there's something in wrestling, you know, with the high spots, mm-hmm. which is pretty much Young Bucks matches. And, you know, the, the Cruiserweights and, and PWG and stuff like that. Right. A lot of people think that that's killing wrestling. Or these crazy spots. This, to me, is killing wrestling. I didn't hate it that much. It was This match? Yeah. I, I didn't hate it. It was just like... It would have been way better if Finn and AJ didn't have that match. I mean, <laughs> Finn and AJ should have been the main event. Definitely. If they if they were swapped places... Yes. Well, yeah, it would have been fine. Like, we would have solved this first. But, uh... There's just, there's a lot to this match that confuses me. Why did Braun and Kane help him? Right. They did say that this was Miz's investment. So I, guess, um, I guess he paid them. Sure. You know, if it was the Miz and the Bar versus the Shield, then it'll be like, all right. It's heels versus faces. Fair enough. Right. I get that. That's fine. Kane's not necessarily a heel. Braun, I don't think is a heel. People love him, much as you want him to be. He is. Yeah, I was kind of confused about that, too, because I thought... Both those guys are kind of in between. Yeah. This is just weird. I don't get it. What are you doing, WWE? What is this... This better lead to something. It won't. You know, Braun killing Kurt Angle. Kurt left for a while. Quite a while, really. Something. And then them uh, literally killing Braun. Yeah. That is, as the crowd said, that is murder. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he tried to kill him twice. Yeah. He uh, slammed him through the stage and then yanked the big, the, the terror structure. Yeah. A little, I don't know what you call that. I, I was thinking about, like, the popcorn balls you garland. get. At, chair garland. There you go, chair garland. <laughs> Still chair garland. <laughs> uh, and he pulled that on top of Braun, and then they put him in the garbage truck and closed it. The Why state did, trash compactored him. Yeah. Why didn't they have Braun rip that open? He's already done stupid shit that's not humanly possible. Right. Keep it going. It'd be fine. Yeah. He, he, I wouldn't. I wouldn't question it. I'd be like, yeah, it's Braun Strowman. Of course, he can rip apart steel. Or like the whole back end of it explodes, and he's just standing there like he's the Hulk. He's that's the Hulk that thing. would be great. <laughs> but I, yeah, I guess. I didn't hate the match either. It just didn't. It felt out of place. It felt unnecessary, and it just felt funky. With you know Finn and AJ being so spectacular, right? Elias and Jason Jordan was on right before this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't even know. I don't understand what's happening anymore. I would definitely say Hell in a Cell was better than this. <laughs> Should have watched Hell in a Cell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not interested in it. What's the next paper? Oh, next pay per view Survivor Series. Raw vs. SmackDown. That will be interesting. I'm excited for that, but I'm more excited for War Games. Yeah, me too. NXT is going to tear the house down. We're going to have some great matches. By the way, I, I think it's this Friday. Did you see what's happening in NXT? No. Um. Uh, McIntyre versus uh, uh, Adam Cole, baby, uh, and Shawn Michaels as special guest referee. Oh, that's right. <laughs> They're gonna be in Texas, right? Yep. That's why. Yeah, that's why. But it's like, wait, what? In a non televised event? Um, All right. We gotta get to an NXT show. Were they trained by him? Uh, I know Shawn's at school over there. Uh, I don't honestly know who trained most of them. I don't think he trained Kyle. I don't, I'm pretty sure he didn't train Kyle. I don't know about Adam Cole. I don't know about Bobby Fish. I actually don't know a lot about Bobby Fish. He's kind of a more recent thing for me. Other than he's incredible. Yeah, no, absolutely. And his, his promos with... Oh, with, um, uh, oh my god, the Peacock. Oh my god. Why? It's late. <laughs> it is late. I am so tired. <laughs> you have, like, no sleep. Yeah. What? Oh my god, no. The, pe- the Peacock. R-O-H. 
He's my favorite wrestler. That, I didn't type the peacock. Uh, no, you know. <laughs> I typed the Blee XK 9XK. I, I can't type. I talked about him earlier, or I was going to talk about him earlier. The Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle and the boys. That's, uh, that's my second attempt at the peacock. Hey, closer. closer. <laughs> I can't type. I really oh, I did get Dalton Castle, though. Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle's incredible. Um, you think we'll ever see Dalton Castle in WWE? Maybe. Maybe. I don't think he would. They would take him seriously, though. Probably not. Yeah, but th- what did we just watch? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, a bunch of literal garbage in a garbage truck. No, I shouldn't say that. Brom's not garbage. Um. So yeah, that was TLC. It was. An incredible show, only because of Finn and Bray. Yeah. Uh, Finn and... Jesus Christ. Oh, Finn and AJ. <laughs> Finn and Bray was what was supposed to happen. Um, which, I guess we haven't even talked about it, but the reason why Roman wasn't in the last match, Bray wasn't in Finn's match, is because they all got the mumps. Like a viral airborne disease. Yeah? Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> Happens yeah. in sports. People... I really thought it was men. I've been seeing a lot of stuff tonight. Yeah. Meningitis. I think meningitis is the common one. Like that, That's what it should have been. Right. More than likely would have been. Turns out it was mumps. I hope that's a scientific name for it. It's funny as shit. There's a couple things we, we're going to talk about real quick. Uh, something I wanted to pitch to you. What do you think about... Because I, I played Baron Corbin's music earlier for you. Mm-hmm. And it's better music. It's pretty yeah. cool. I would love to see Baron take on the Brothers of Destruction, Kane and the Undertaker. And basically, at the end of that feud, he gets the whole throat slit taunt and the choke slam and maybe the tombstone. I think that would make his character way better. If he came out and he did... The, the throat slit thing as part of his entrance and just use it more often. He, he, he'd be great with the choke slam. I think he used a choke slam recently. He did. I think he has. I think um, it'd be an interesting evolution of character. Not right now. <laughs> no, but after a while. Him. After a while, maybe. And I think he is. He's, he's here to stay yeah. for a long while. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we got to talk about is. Neville and Jimmy Jacob. Well, Neville's not hasn't left yet, for sure. Dave Meltzer has said that he's much happier since he hasn't been there, and I guess now they're just finalizing the deal with him. But holy shit, that sucks. Yeah. Because Neville's probably the best part of the cruiserweight division. Probably. What is T.J. Perkins doing right now? Yeah, I'm not sure. Because he's like he's. It's, like, glaringly obvious that he's gone. Yeah, I saw he was going on commentary, but he's not. I hope he's not injured. I have no idea. Um, He's been tweeting all night, and he tweeted at somebody because somebody told him to stop playing video games and go get his title belt. (laughs) He said he doesn't play video games at work. That's funny. But he needs to do something. Somebody needs to. I mean, I I really like Enzo and uh, Kalisto feuding for a while. Yeah, but it's, be fun. we still need a next contender. We need one of these 205 Live guys to step up and become more interesting. Yeah. Brian Kendrick, I think, is a very strong contender for that. But I also feel like he's the veteran that they just want to be there. It could be. Kind of like how Mickey James is. Yeah. Veterans and everything. I mean, this being TLC. I wonder how many people while watching TLC tonight, realize how it started. TLC? Like the first TLC. Like the Dudley Boys and all them? Yeah, I wonder how many people tonight realize that and remember that. I would imagine a lot. I'd hope so. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to get me there for a second. I was like, wait, do I know? <laughs> yeah, Dudley's and Edge and Christian and the Hardys. And the Hardys are here. Why did they yeah. not compete? I don't know. Maybe they're tired of ladders. You know what? Fair enough. Like, we've done enough <laughs> ladders. Like, hey, um, you guys want to do a TLC? Really don't. Because when I brought up the lack of 
chair headshots. Or yeah. Or complete absence of. Uh, that's what got me thinking about it, because I was like, you know, Edge and Christian, they couldn't do their nope. toes. Yeah. I was like, that would suck. Yeah. Well, Edge can't wrestle anyways. Yeah. So, that's right out the door. Um, but then, wasn't it uh, Christian that was doing the single-person concertos yes. anyway? <laughs> Where you just put their head on the chair and... <laughs> there's uh, a will, there's a way. Was he? Yeah, was that the one where he put the, their head into the chair and then stomped on it? No, he would just put their head on a chair and then get another chair. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Who was putting people's heads inside the chair? I've seen that through oh, a bunch of Maybe people. that was Seth Rollins because that was like a curb stomp. Uh, maybe. I don't remember. Uh, I think Angle used to put people's ankles in there. Yeah. For sure. I've done that once. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Seems painful. Yeah. No. But uh, not in WWE anymore. Which is a real what, damn shame. Was he ever going to wrestle or was he just going to be right? He's just writer as far as I know. That's what he got hired for. That's he's, guy, he's been in wrestling pretty long time, hasn't he? Long ass time. Yeah. I was hoping we'd get, since he worked for him, I was hoping we'd see him and... and uh, that could happen. Age of the Fall return yeah. from back in the Absolutely. early 2000s. Because, oh my god, that image of uh, the Jay Briscoe? It was hanging. One of the Briscoes. If you don't know what we're talking about, look up Age of the Fall promo. I yeah. think it's probably the main one that comes up. Uh, probably... There's one of the Briscoes hanging from something, mm -hmm. just dripping blood on Jimmy Jacobs as he cuts a promo. And it's pretty intense. It, dude. And we'd, we'd have to get Necro Butcher and Delirious. <laughs> Delirious is like running ROH now. I don't know what the hell Necro Butcher's doing. Being I mean, Necro Butcher? Being Necro Butcher. <laughs> Oh man, you could you could replace those guys though with like Braun Strowman. No, no, it'd have to be delirious. Oh, have you seen Eric Rowan and uh, what are they? They're the the Bruce Bludgeon and, the Bludgeon Brothers. Bludgeon Brothers. <laughs> they got like Halloween hammers. Like I saw that, and then someone said something about Southpaw. I'm like, oh, that's on Southpaw, but it's not, is it? It's it's on regular. It's not a Southpaw gimmick. Oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> I haven't seen the new season of Southpaw. Me either, but I don't think it is. Like, I think that that's on Raw or whatever show they're and on. And they, like, rhyme and everything, too. Really? Yeah. I need to see that. You do. That makes me very happy. Because <laughs> I know uh, Luke Harper is fucking funny. Yeah. He is so funny. That's, like, I, I love their back together. And, like, Bludgeon Brothers is... I don't know. I think it's dumb. Yeah. But, but it's amazing. It's those two. And they will make it work. This is like, Vince is like, here's your gimmick. And they're like, fuck. <laughs> and they will make it work. That's the thing. Like, a lot of times, like, look at, um, uh, it was, boy. I'm sorry, just the, the oh, picture of Kurt Angle <laughs> behind the other two. Oh my god, I can't remember his name. The Funkasaurus. Uh, he was before. Brody Clay? Brodus Clay. Is that what it was? Uh, That's a terrible gimmick. Yeah. Big dude with dancing, he made that shit work. <laughs> he, that is somebody who was given a shit gimmick and has made it work very well. You know who else is that kind of person? Who's that? The Undertaker. No. Fucking the terrible. best gimmick. You're a dead dude? No, he's an Undertaker. But he's also a dead dude. He was an Undertaker. He's also a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Hogwarts. I'm just saying this, like... Okay, but give that gimmick to someone else. Ilver Morty, actually. He's an American. What's that? Give that gimmick to someone else. Before The Undertaker. It's a dumb gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark Calloway is so incredible, he made it work. Was he like, originally dead? Like I don't know. I don't think so. Like I think his original gimmick was he was an Undertaker. That's terrible. No, I don't think so. I think That's, it's great. I don't know. And his manager was Paul Bear. Yeah. Like <laughs> what? 
Oh, in the back of the days of Repo Man and IRS. <laughs> yeah, they were given occupational yeah. gimmicks. There was the accountants. <laughs> you had... This is a whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boss Man, he was the correctional officer. Bring that back. Can we bring those gimmicks back? Oc- <laughs> Man. Because oh that's, that's how you relate to these people. Yeah. Like, people who were real Undertakers were probably like, oh, right, cool. You know, my... <laughs> now I just need a Shade Repairman gimmick. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> you could do it. You, know, you have fabrics. <laughs> Spelled with an X, I'm assuming. Or at a least K, not. A K and an X. Oh, yes. Absolutely. K and an X at the end. Like the cereal. Kid tested, mother approved. Do we want to talk about gender versus Brock? No. <laughs> Gender, I guess gender wants Brock to beat him, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. He didn't challenge Brock, he just publicly stated he wants to lose to Brock Lesnar. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel when anyone <laughs> challenges Brock Lesnar. It's like, I would like Brock Lesnar to beat me at Foxy Slam. I, for, I don't know. What Another person that Vince probably told him that, and gender went, fuck. <laughs> And <laughs> standing next to the Bludgeon Brothers going, fuck. <laughs> Bludgeon oh, Brothers. Bludgeon Brothers. <laughs> that makes me happy. Like, that's... I'm excited for I'm just excited for the two of them to be back together. Yeah. Makes God. me happy. That just makes me mad because now I do want to watch Raw. Or they're on Raw, right? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever show they are, they're on. I'm just, just going to have to go watch it. Yeah. Watch the clips. That's what I do. I mean, I, I watch every second of it. No, I don't. It makes me angry because I, I, I'm going to have to go back and watch a bunch of NXT because I need to see what Aleister Black is doing. Ah. And I'm so mad that I have to do that, but I actually <laughs> care about what Aleister Black is doing. So. And the Undisputed Era and mm. all the other stuff going on. I'm not going to get started there. <laughs> All right, folks, this has been the Few True Heels podcast. Thank you for listening. You can find this podcast on iTunes, on YouTube. What was that? Huh? You're just mad now that I brought up the Undisputed Era. No. (laughs) A couple episodes back, you'll understand that. Yeah. Uh, You can also find it on our website, futruevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm, Facebook Best of the Realm Gaming, YouTube is Best in the Realm, Twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. I'm uh, on Twitter at Brian25, on Instagram at Brian38, and that's pretty much it. And you can find all of our content if you follow us on Twitter at Future Villains and Facebook at Future Villains. Thanks for listening, guys.